Donald Mustard, creator of Epic Games, made a great decision to have Disney partnered up with Fortnite X Epic Games X Disney. It's a great collaboration. However, I've seen a lot of negativity. How people are going to take Fortnite and they're going to make, make it childish. Make it more kid-friendlier. Well, being somebody who has been mentally triggered with a lot of shooting games and being Fortnite is a better, suitable, kid-friendlier game than Call of Duty, uh, Destiny, or um, Halo. No, no, Halo's pretty good. Or, uh, yeah, Call of Duty Warzone, or Apex Legends. I think Donald Mustard made a great decision in allowing a guy who was part of the Avengers movie, who was part of Marvel Studios, to give him the helm to let Disney in. Because Donald Mustard is a child at heart. He knows how kids are. He understands the also fear that adults, parents, can look at Fortnite when there's a lot of guns and shooting. And with all these shootings going on, I think Donald Mustard made a great decision in looking at Epic Games and saying, hey, I'm giving this to somebody who's worked with Marvel Studios before, who's worked with Disney, and I think Disney is going to make it more kid-friendlier. I mean, how much more kid-friendlier could you make it other than have it where it's the invasion, alien invasion season, where we had those blasters, shoot up blasters. Maybe it would be awesome if we had, like, like, uh, Buzz Lightyear blasters from the, from the movie, like the toy in the movie, or Lightyear was such a great movie. I think it's very underrated, honestly. Donald Mustard made a great decision in allowing Epic Games to let a Disney employee slash Marvel Studios employee in. I think he made a right decision and knowing that he, this person, is going to let Disney in and Disney's going to let them make it more kid-friendlier. Because children are, these days, are very much with a lot of shootings going on, a lot of school shootings in the past. It could have a lot of mental trigger and could have a lot of you know, PTSD. I mean, honestly, if you think about it. Kids who've survived school shootings have, um, you know, said, hey, listen, I don't want my kid to be in a game where there's a lot of guns. I think Donald Mustard made a great decision and said, hey, Disney, you guys are all about kids. You aim towards kids. You have obviously have been the Jedi Temple. While Warner Brothers has been the evil empire. Or neo-Nazi or whatever you want to say. Where they have... Warner Brothers has been letting sexual harassments and letting... Toxic work environments and toxic work ethics be boiled down and brutally sliming everywhere, toxating everything, including games, including entertainment, movie industry, like Ezra Miller. And he looked at it and said, Hey, because when there is big money, 
when there is a kid aiming studio, kid aiming game for teenagers, we have to, there's going to be entertainment businesses, Disney or like Warner Brothers or Universal Studios looking at this and going, hey, we should buy by Epic Games. Epic Games allows us to let people in. We should buy them. And with how the direction Warner Brothers has been doing and with how the direction of Universal Studios... Well, I don't know about Universal Studios. I don't really pay much attention to Universal Studios. I think Universal Studios is glad where it is with Peacock. Because Peacock has been soaring, actually. Peacock has been really soaring and really booming. Um, just as much as Hulu has. And Hulu is owned by Disney. Fully owned. I mean, David Zaslav has been a toxic, worth ethical, selfish guy and just brewing creativity down to the boiled brim. In Warner Brothers. And that's where his fear. I mean, look at the Wiley e. Coyote versus Acme in the Law Division movie that they were gonna do. Some kind of movie they were gonna do. And then they just brittle it down and said, No, we're not doing it, we're just shelving it. Goodbye. That's why there's a lot of worth ethics, a lot of writers coming forward and saying you should not work with Warner Brothers. What's going on at Warner Brothers? Stay it does not stay at Warner Brothers. It just gets shelled in the trash. And that's why it's a lot of people are scared that if James Gunn is gonna be creating these new DC universe that he's told that looks epic. Although I don't know about Batman Brain and the Bone, which I don't like the Damian Wayne. Um he's not my favorite character. He he's really not. He makes he makes uh, sons look abusive where the dads are not. And he clearly has been abused and manipulated by his mother. Uh, Talia Al Ghul, a.k.a. the daughter of Ra's al Ghul. So, um, yeah, I, Damian Wayne is not my favorite character. And the fact that he, James Gunn, also announced that Peacemaker, which you all know how I feel about Peacemaker. Oh, I don't think that's a good thing for kids. I really don't. Especially the fact that he basically possesses the look of a school shoot, of a kid who grew up in school shooting. Um, like a shooter. I don't know. But anyway, um, and what about the Flash movie? And I'm not talking about, uh, Grant Gustin, which he is my Flash. And I love it. I'm glad. Uh, Fortnite, I think, Epic Games Studios, Donald Mustard, creator, made a great decision in allowing Disney who has been making great decisions in entertainment, like when they kicked out that co-CEO, Bob Chapek. I mean, Bob Iger looked at this and said, hey, a lot of kids love games. And if kids love our games, we should be partnering with Epic Games so we can make games, more games in the gaming industry. I mean, Tron Aries is coming out in a couple of years. So, yeah. Disney Epic Games, Donald and Mustard. Let Disney, if he knew that Disney Studios is for kids, has been working with great worth ethics, has been doing better, has been bumping up their press and making money and making really good money. 
in games. I mean, look at all the great games they've been doing. Uh, Disney's, um, Dreamlight Kingdom, Disney's, uh, racing, kart racing, gaming coming out. Um, I think that's a lot of fun also. He, Donald Mustard, made a great decision in allowing someone from Disney to come in. Now here comes the bad news. Um, since people are ranting at me about Disney being bad and how it's people are ranting online that Disney is evil, that Disney is bad, and everybody out there is saying how it's bad that Disney and Epic Games has partnered up when I think it's great. I mean, where is this Disney evil coming out from? Where was this when Warner Brothers was letting Ezra Miller, that psycho, I don't care if he's part of the LGBTQ, he is a monster, and he molested, sexually harassed, there has been... You know, bad blood between Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures. I mean, they split and went with um, iTunes, Apple TV Plus. And if Apple TV Plus is going to be bought by Disney, or Disney is going to be bought by, or Disney is going to buy Apple TV Plus and merge. There's going to be way cheaper prices if that happens. Think about it. With how much money Apple TV Plus makes financially and how Disney is making financially, Disney has been building a better world, a better Jedi Temple, a better superhero cinematic universe ever before even though I do understand why people think Disney has been lagging but I think Disney did great with Moon Knight did great with Werewolf by Night oh my gosh and it was directed by a proud LGBTQ advocate by the way we need to let Disney be the Jedi Temple. Not the freaking neo-Nazis. That's Warner Brothers. For God's sake. Seriously. This is fucking nuts. Disney is a Jedi Temple hold of proud entertainment. And when someone gets out of line, the Disney Council steps in and says, Okay, this guy needs to get thrown out. That's what happened to Bob Chapek. Bob Iger stepped in and hopefully Bob Iger can give someone he knows, someone he's reliable to know. Because Disney let that evil man in because of the COVID pandemic. Even though he did a lot of good, he did tremble and that's when the AI, artificial, you know, advanced technology was in. That's when the WandaVision's photos, shopped, was in all that toxic worth. But it wasn't, it's not as bad, as horrible if you think, as Warner Brothers Studios with David Zaslav. Because he is making a lot of toxic worth ethics. He's making Billions of millions, maybe thousands of money on films. And then he says, oh, we're going to just shelve it. We're not making it. We're not. That's why writers are saying you should not work with Warner Brothers. All right. So I'm going to be leaving Fortnite because people are being toxic to me. Bullying me. I I need a big for a minute. You should really take a learn to take a deep breath in once in a while because it really helps your mental health. 
I think Donald Mustard made a great decision in letting Disney in. He knew that they are doing better. He knows that they are in a household name of entertainment. And he knows that they're in great leadership now. He knows that if someone goes out of line at Disney, Disney's going to kick them out. Think about it. 